Anita from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our video channel on jobs and careers. Today I'm going to speak about careers after electrical and electronics engineering. Electrical and electronics engineering is a growing and one of the most sought disciplines in the field of engineering study. It comprises with the electrical engineering and electronics engineering. It is originated by the electrical engineering by the technically modernization of the world and computerization in the work field it is necessary to use and understand the circuits and computerized devices in electrical and electronic field the electrical and electronics engineering involves with the power it can be existed in various forms like turbine hydro gas fuel cell solar wind or geothermal energy it involves the use, storage and generation of the power and energy. You can choose the electrical and electronics engineering once you have completed 10 plus 2 examination with mathematics and physics. The academic criterion of electrical and electronics engineering is divided into four courses or programs as follows. Number one. Diploma courses leading to the Polytechnic Diploma of 3 years duration that is after 10th or 12th. UG courses leading to the BE Bachelors of Engineering or BTEC Bachelors of Technology degree of 4 years duration that is after 12th. PG courses leading to ME Master of Engineering, MTech Master of Technology degree of 2 years duration after graduation. Doctoral courses leading to the PhD, Doctor of Philosophy, degree of half to one year's duration after post-graduation. Jobs and careers. There is a lot of job opportunity in the field of electrical and electronics engineering. An electrical and electronics engineer designs, develops and maintains the electrical, electronics and computer control system to the required specifications and focusing on economy, reliability, safety, sustainability and quality. Telecom industries, transportation network, IT industries, aeroplane and airspace manufacturing industries and production and the distribution of power and some of the specific fields of career development. An electrical and electronics engineer can work with industries deals in product development, control system, system management, product design, sales, consumers electronics, transportation, wireless communications, manufacturing, chemical, automotive, defense and space research organizations. Interested candidates can also build their career in teaching field. They can join prestigious institutions for lecturer job after earning masters of technology degree in electrical and electronics engineering. One can also do research work after earning doctoral degree. The top recruiters that require the electrical and electronics engineers, BHEL, NSPCL, Power Grid Corporation of India Limited, BAL Cvo, to name a few. The job profiles in the field of electrical and electronic engineering are as follows. Number 1. Control and Instrumentation Engineer. Number 2. Electrical Engineer. Number 3. Broadcast Engineer. Number 4. Manufacturing Systems Engineer. Number 5. System Analyst. Number 6. Electronics Engineer. Number 7. IT Consultant. Number 8. System Developer. Number 9. Network Engineer. Salary. In India, a fresher who has a degree in electrical and electronics engineering can get the average offer of salary starting from 2.5 lakh per annum up to 5 lakh per annum. In abroad, the average salary of electrical engineers is $68,000 per annum. Opportunities for Triple E Number 1. A graduate in Triple E can go for diverse fields whether it is PSU job, core sectors like construction and steel, IT industry, consultancy or finance job, electronics design and a myriad of profiles like business development associates, content development manager etc. Number 2. It gives you opportunities to explore consultancy domains, eligibility to write UPSC, IES that is Indian Engineering Services opt for electrical engineering paper as optional in UPSC IES. Number 3. 
You can also appear for PSUs like Airport Authority of India where electrical and electronic students are allowed along with ECE students for post of junior executive. That means if you are only BE or BTEC in electrical engineering, you are not eligible to fill the form unless you are BE or BTEC in ECE or triple E. So stay connected with us for more such videos and do not forget to hit the subscribe button below. Thank you.